So I'm in Toronto, my second home, doing a media tour. So I said to the team, why don't we shoot some videos at the house? And then they were like, do we have to? <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we compromised and then I said, you guys could sip some wine while we film. So if you see the camera veer off a little bit, Cut him a little slack because he's having a sip of wine. Okay, so I'm a BC boy, so anytime I come into Toronto, my friends are like, bring the seafood, dude. So that's what I do every time I come to the north. So these are some mussels. These are really great, guilt-free shellfish. They're delicious, they're cheap, they're ocean-wise, and they are yummy. There's a couple ways to tell that your mussels are fresh. One, smell them. If they smell like the kiss of the sea, you know they're fresh. But if they're open, give them a flick. And if they close like that, then you know the mussel's fresh. If it doesn't close, throw it out. So those are the mussels. I got some big old clams, and this is a dish I'm calling sole normand. It's a classic French dish. So you need mussels, clams, some really nice sole, and then the veg is super easy. Some shallots, some garlic, some mushrooms, a little bit of cream, and these mushrooms are really cool. They are called oyster mushrooms, and they're delicious, and they're super easy to clean. You just take them off, and they kind of shred like string cheese. When I was a kid, we got string cheese. But when I was a kid, my mom also said when the ice cream man was coming around and you could hear the music, that meant they were, they were out of ice cream. So we got cheese strings instead. So the mushrooms are exactly like a cheese string. So they're easy to peel off, just a little bit of work, and then I get to go to the pan. This is gonna be fun. So this one's super simple. The Sol Normand is dead simple. So a little bit of shallots and garlic to start the flavor, some crispy mushrooms in there, and it's good with some little young potatoes. And here, this is a little secret. If you put these in the microwave just for a couple of minutes, they get soft and they're perfect to fry. And once they're soft, you can cut them in half just like that. They're nice and cooked in the middle, still steamy, and the skin stay intact. That's a really good tip when you're cooking the potatoes. Hit them in the microwave, and then when you throw it in with the fish, the fish cooks fast, the potatoes are cooked, and it drinks up a ton of flavor because these little potatoes are like sponges, and they like to drink up flavor, and they go really well with fish. Speaking of fish, you can't have sole normand without sole. This stuff is really great too because it's like the mussels and clams. It's fairly cheap. You can find it anywhere, and a couple of ways to tell that it's fresh. Smell it, should smell like the sea, and it's nice and glossy and firm. But this is what I like to do with the fish. Hold on. Salt and pepper, you wanna salt and pepper the inside of the fish, and you can tell that that's the back side of the fish because you can see a little bit of the fat, and that's perfect. You wanna season the fat. And then this is really cool. So take the fish with the fat side up, and I just roll it like this. And then when you roll it, you can sit it in that cream sauce with the mussels and the clams and the potatoes. And it won't cook as fast because the sole is a really thin fish. If you roll it up like that, it'll give the time for the sauce to reduce, the mussels and clams to open up, and the potatoes to drink up all of that flavor. Okay, this is the best part. Let's put it together. This one is super simple. I like to start with the potatoes because they're already half cooked. If you get them a little bit crispy, they're really nice. So put it in a pan. You just want to hear a light sizzle. That's perfect. And I started with some oil. Anytime I throw the potatoes down, if you just move them around a little bit, it keeps it nice and non-stick and the potatoes get a great crust. Put them all in there. Give them a swish so they won't stick. Just let them start cooking. It already smells so great because I had a little bit of garlic on my hands and then the garlic's on the potatoes and the garlic hit the hot oil. It's amazing. So the key to mushrooms is they have a lot of water in them. So in a hot pan, I'll drop the mushrooms in with the potatoes and just put them in the spots where there's no potatoes and let the mushrooms start to get really nice and crispy. Still move it around a little bit so the potatoes don't stick. That is a perfect beginning. That's how you start building flavor. And then it's a perfect time to hit it with a little bit of salt. So you can see the potato is already getting really nice and crispy. So that's a perfect timing to put in the onions and then you can put in the garlic. Okay, so once the garlic goes in, then you can give her a flip and look at the potatoes, make sure you got a nice little crust. That is beautiful. That little crust on the potato, it's already pre-cooked but it's starting to open up. And then as soon as you hit it with garlic, it just starts to smile. 
And then in with the shellfish, clams and mussels. Those are big clams, those are delicious. That is one of my favorite sounds in the kitchen, just tossing mussels and clams. So this is how you build a quick sauce, because it's all about fish. A nice shot of a half a lemon. Don't be shy with the lemon. And once the lemon's in there, then you can hit it with some heavy cream. So once the cream is bubbling away, it's amazing. As soon as you hit that pan with the lemon and the garlic, it smells so good. It's a fish's best friend. So this is what I like to do with the sole. Grab your bundle and kind of just push it down into the cream sauce. That's perfect. I like to put it in the oven. That is amazing. The fish is gonna sit in that cream sauce. It's gonna drink up all the flavor. The potatoes are like sponges. It's a fish party in that pan. Put it in the oven at 350 degrees till the sole is cooked. And my friends, that is a stunning one pan fish dish that even your Toronto friends will dig. <laughs> All right, so it's been in the oven for about 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, look at that. The cream's just boiling away. It's nice and thick. And then you can tell the clams and mussels are cooked because they're open. Look at those little jewels. And even the sole, if you just take a pair of tongs and pull it back like that, and the fish is really flaky, you know it's cooked. It smells delicious. Okay, so just a few things to finish it. Uh, a fresh herb that goes really well with fish, especially sole, clams, and mussels and potatoes, is a little bit of parsley that kind of freshens it up because it's really decadent in there. And then to cut through some of that fat again and just add another layer of delicious freshness, just a squeeze of lemon, and then plate it up. It's kind of a family style meal, which is really cool. So I take my time because I like when the food looks pretty. Let's do it. That's what I like to do. I like to make it look pretty, so I plate all the fish first, and then at the end, you can just drizzle on that cream sauce with the mushrooms. And it's so good, that cream sauce and the mushrooms get into the open mussels and clams, and it's kind of like a little sauce. You get to slurp away. It's a really fun dish. My mama loves this for lunch on a rainy day. Anyone who tucks into this meal is gonna be super satisfied. A Little bit more fresh parsley, little shot of lemon at the end. That is delicious. It's got everything. It's cheap and it's delicious. From the sole, the mussels, the clams, the potatoes, a little bit of cream, fresh lemon, shallots, and garlic. It's simple. It's in one pan. And if you're a fish lover, this is going to be something that you want to try. The sauce is great because it's so simple. And with the shallots, the garlic, the mushrooms, a little bit of cream and lemon. It's ridiculously simple and it's ridiculously tasty. All right, if you want the recipe, you can check it out on my website, www.chefspencerwatts.com. Hit it and try this, because it's delicious. This is what my dad does. He doesn't even use his muscle shell. He just drinks it. Oh my God, that's good. I love you, and honestly, try this. It's a winner, you're gonna love it. It's simple, fast, delicious, and feeds a lot of people. All right, see you later.